the Radically Blending In channel. My name is Keisha. And my name is Sunsuray. Uh, in effort to celebrate, you know, our people within our community to share out with your, your children, your friends, anybody else. So today we're going to talk about two individuals. Um, I can go first mm -hmm. or would you like to go first? You can go first. <laughs> All right. So the person that I am reading is Banu Athaya. Banu fell in love with the creative arts at a very young age. She was born into a family in which everybody studied the sciences. Her father was the first in the family to break the rules by taking up fine arts. Her father's interests gave her several opportunities to explore arts. Growing up, she spent her time painting, watching movies, and listening to distinguished guests discuss cinema, photography, and art. At the tender age of 10, Banu lost her inspiring father, but this did not stop her journey in the field of arts. She continued to paint with a passion stronger than before, making a place for herself in the field. Her work earned her a gold medal at the prestigious JJ School of Arts and was exhibited alongside the legendary M.F. Hussein's paintings. With Banu's creativity, however, painting was not enough. Shifted her focus to the silver screen with fashion design. She designed dresses for several films and even got opportunities to work with international directors like Richard Attenborough. Just like her paintings, her fashion design work was exceptional. And at the 55th Oscar Award Ceremony in Los Angeles in 1983, Banu Athayai made history as, the, as India's first female Oscar Award winner. I love this part. Will yeah. you do the honors? Okay, thank you. <laughs> oh, and the winners are John Malo and Banu Athayai for Gandhi. Accepting the Costume Design Award for Gandhi, Banu Athiya. As light bulbs flashed and crowds rushed and to catch a glimpse of smiling, waving, and sashaying stars, Banu stood tall, clad in a beautiful blue sari. She won the Academy Award for Best Costume Design, along with John Malo for designing the costumes for the 1982 biographical epic, Gandhi. Designing and styling for a period movie like Gandhi and working with some of the best names from Hollywood placed overwhelming pressure on Athaya. It was her habitual pursuit of excellence that saw her through. The epitomous movie about Mahatma Gandhi bagged most of the Oscars that year, meaning they took almost everything that year. But the category in which Banu won the highest accolade costume design was an unappreciated one in her industry. In fact, Banu was the first credited costume designer in an Indian film. When she went up to receive the golden statuette in front of the crowd at the Dorothy Chandler Pavilion, she began her acceptance speech by saying, It's too good to believe. At a time when, working, when a working woman was a rarity, Banu delivered pure artistry through her work. She debuted with CID in 1956 and set the fashion stage for classics like Piazza in 1957, Shodvin Kachan in 1960, and Sahid Bibi or Ghulam in 1962. She went on to become one of the most revered costume designers in Indian cinema. And has worked in over a hundred over a hundred movies since her debut. The most prolific members of the movie business collaborated with her and international directors like Conrad Rooks and Richard Attenborough. 
If a movie required a fine eye for attire, be it a period setting or modern times, she was the one to be called. Most recently, she worked. She has worked on Lagan in 2001. That's actually one of my husband's favorite Indian films. And so these. In 2004, Banu's work defined the aesthetic of Indian cinema, giving it the vibrancy and color that audiences love. Today, a career and portfolio spanning many fruitful decades stand testimony to how much Athayai loved what she did and how she practiced doing it well every single day. So apologies if I did not pronounce some names correctly. Again, we want to celebrate who these individuals are. So hope you enjoyed that story.